Okay. We should be live. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Let me just get the chat up here so I can <laughs> see what's going on too. spent some time there trying to mess around with the camera and I'm not sure it's worked that well but whatever we're here okay I'll give it a minute where's my phone go actually oh that's the camera I was gonna post on Instagram and whatnot to say that I'm here, but here's my phone as a camera, so <laughs> oops. this showing just me all right never mind it is yeah have we frozen completely I swear, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> I'll be back. Hello, Astro the Moth. Welcome in. We're just giving things a minute to for people to get here. I'm going to send out notifications to people that we're here, we're live, we're doing the thing. I was going to use my phone for that, but like I was saying, I use my, um, I use my camera as my, as my, my phone as my camera, rather. Yeah. So, I can't do that. GLaDOS and me, hello. everyone's set up and ready. I am, I think. I've had enough time to get things ready. <laughs> How are you all out there doing? Let me know what's been happening in your lives. Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day tomorrow? <laughs> You're spending Valentine's with a nice boy. Me too.
I'm just sending out messages to let people know that I'm here because I didn't do that the last couple of times because I hadn't really figured out what I'm doing. But, you know, I've got to tell people. Who else needs to know? Oh, you're spending Valentine's Day indoors because of bloody Rona. Yeah, yeah, us too, to be fair. Gutted you missed the character customization. Oh, yay. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. The character customization one should still be up for viewing later, but. I don't know how many people actually like to watch streams later on after the fact. And while I was doing the uh, customization of my own character, I realized there was a lot of options that could potentially be made into a Lolita fashion type character, which is why we're doing this now. Okay, I think that's as many people told as will need to be told. Should we just get into it? But you do watch streams afterwards quite a lot. Excellent, cool. That's good to know. I wasn't sure if that was a popular thing to do because honestly I don't know a lot about anything really. Technology escapes me quite often. Ah <laughs> oh, you're fine, you're fine. If anyone else wants to join in chatting then they're no they know they're free to. I'd like to hear from you all. Message held for review. Has that appeared? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have appointed a moderator. Harry's moderating for me, so we're going to see if that works. There we go. Victor, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. You haven't missed much. I haven't even started yet. I've just been chatting and babbling on about whatever we're doing for Valentine's Day and the fact that, you know. I did a previous character customization stream, but this time we're just doing it for fun. I'm not creating my character today. I'm just, we're just trying to create something Lolita fashion themed. You are being put up for review again. I don't know why YouTube insists you're saucy, but I don't know. I don't know either. But hey, we have a mod squad now, so it's fine. All right, let's, let's get into it. I have actually been playing quite a lot of this. Um, every day but most days I've been playing with a couple of friends who have it as well so yeah I've been into it I've been into it I also started playing Stardew Valley again because um, my friend Josephine who's a twitch streamer has been playing it on her stream and it reminded me that I started Stardew Valley about it was a long time ago anyway I had a save game from 2015 and I'd only played the first couple of days of it so I just started again, and now I'm playing Stardew Valley again. As well as this. But you know, you need to change it up, have a change of pace. It's 
So this is my main character, the one that we made last time, that is just me but in club wear. <laughs> And for any of you watching who haven't played Code Vein, this is what it looks like, and this is the this is the place. Ta-da! Just because you're a questionable person, <laughs> that's not that's not true, is it? Is it? Hello, thank you. I think it's cute too. Now, fortunately, you can just change your character's appearance whenever, and you can save a particular appearance. So changing my character won't actually mean I have to create all of this again. I can just can save I it. a small adjustment to your setting very quickly? Yeah. Um, You're a bit white Putin at the moment. So if you could go into the settings menu of the game. Oh. Sorry, doing live maintenance. The mod squad is live, so. Oh, right. No, that's, that's right, got the little cog. Yep. Uh, graphic settings. Yeah. Yep. There. Is that better? I'll just move that a little to... If the folks watching could let me know if that looks better. Yes. Excellent. See, so like, now you're tall and thin like all the other vampires. <laughs> It's still bothering me that the the camera is really adjusted for low light because I am sitting next to a window, but I can't figure out how to change that. So you know, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh heck, uh oh. Oh, that's better. <laughs> We're learning as we go here, team. We're learning as we go. I'm not very technology competent, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> and we're learning on the fly. So where was I? Character customization, okay. I was saying that the thing about, a good thing about this game is you can save your appearance. So I won't have to rebuild this character the way he is once we're done here. I can just see, it's saved there. And now I can do whatever I like. And I can just switch back to this whenever I want. And oh, thank you, thank you for following me on Instagram. Character customization is the best part of any game. It's true. I'm not even kidding. I found this this game because I didn't know it existed until about a week ago. Um, I found it by searching on Steam for everything tagged with character customization because I only wanted games with character customization, and then a free demo of this popped up, and I just I couldn't resist. The coffin backpack. I I know. I have one like that in real life, that's why I chose it. Yeah! 
Yeah, I filtered my character customization. Okay, we'll start with the hair. There are so many different options in this game, it's kind of intense. But I think for a Lolita fashion look, I want to go with something with a fringe. Although, right, here's the thing. There are hairstyles like this. And there are hairstyles like this with the fringe straight across. But you can put on all of these parts later as accessories. So if I just went with no details, I can put all of that back on later. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. But for now, I'll go with this. And we can attach ponytails and stuff later on. Vanilla Exorcist, hello! Thank you for joining us again. We should choose a colour for the hair. I think I'm going to go for uh, something pinkish because I've been thinking about dyeing my real hair. Not all pink, but a little bit pink. You know, my hair has that little green bit on the side and I think when that fades out, I'm going to make it pink next. So, is that too stereotypical? Doing pink with a Lolita outfit? I don't think I mind. Maybe we'll do blue. Blue or pink? Go with pink for now. The base colour doesn't have to be black, but I just made it like that so that it's like my hair. But we can change it up. We can make it whatever colour because there's hundreds of palettes of colours. <laughs> Look at this. It can be pretty much anything. I know I was saying this before in the other live stream, but I wish Sims building was like this. I do. Ooh. Two-tone colourful is nice. Or at least I like it. I think that's cool. Yeah, why not? Right, Sims can't really have fun hair until you download custom hairstyles for them, right? Or there's some good ones now, maybe, but yeah. Yeah, Sims with a more anime style would be so good. If they just made it more like this, that would be cool. Eyes. Now, obviously, I've made my character have one eye of each of two different colours. I might just change the red one to be pink to match his hair. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> the only thing with this character customization, although it's it's got so much in it, it's got like hundreds of hairstyles and you can make pretty much any colour and style you want. Once you've chosen your face and your body type, you can't change that. So he's still going to have this same face and body type, but I don't think that matters too much. Big fake eyelashes. Because that's a must, I think. I think that's a must for Lolita fashion. Makeup. Again, there's hundreds of options. Just hundreds of options. I 
think I might do purple makeup to blend together the blue and pink in the hair. I mean, you can barely see it, but... But we know it's there, and that's all that matters. Have you never wear fake eyelashes because you can't handle them? That's fair, honestly. I've worn them a couple of times in my life, and they're not comfortable. Oh wait, that was lipstick colour that I was altering there. I'll make the lipstick colour also pink. We'll make it more visible too. Yeah. See, now I'm thinking as cute as this is, a more gothic style would probably be, would probably suit me better. But hey, we can always do two, right? Will you stick around long enough for me to do two of these? Maybe. Scars and other. This is also, there's so many options for scars. Should we do freckles? I think the freckles are cute. Putting them on. I don't even remember what this edits. Like I can't see. <laughs> I can't even see what's been edited here. I think that's the eyeliner. The more visible eyeliner anyway. It is, yes. We can also have blush, eyeshadow, all different styles and placements of makeup. Those are cute. See, this doesn't count as, for some reason, this makeup is in the face paint category instead of in the makeup category. Not sure why, but it is. Just like how the ponytails and stuff are all in accessories. Why? I don't know. But why not? I could put a little heart on his face. Where's the pink palette? There. Should that be pink? Should it be blue? It's quite cute blue. Yes, I I love that the game doesn't restrict you by gender either. I actually I'm not sure if it doesn't completely, because I haven't played it as a female character, so I don't know if there's different options. But it certainly doesn't seem to. I haven't got to the main clothing options yet, so I honestly don't know if this is going to work at all. If, but we can at least have a very cute, cute face. Right, accessories. This is where it's going to get complicated. <laughs> I'll start by just can I just remove them? Is there a remove this item button? I do not know. Advanced editing. Yes, this game does have multiplayer. Um, I've played with a couple of other people over this week and it's it's good. Um, you have to like summon them 
to come and help you and you can only play with one other person at a time it's, it's an interesting way that it works but it does work so you can do multiplayer they just kind of drop in and help you or you drop in and help the other person Accessories. See, right off the bat we have these bows. And you can change where they're placed. So, right now it's right on the back of the head, but I can put it on the sides. Or the front, kind of. I'd have to move that. But you can move it, is the thing. I'll show you what I mean. You can make it change the size. Up and down, side to side. All sorts, all sorts. And it can be on the clothes as well. So. See? Arms, waist, OTT, OTT, definitely, yes, we're going to go so OTT with this. I think I'll start with uh, hair pieces though, so we have a complete hairstyle at least. See, because I already have a fringe, I don't need to put on these extra ones, but they are an option. Yes, that's true. Harry's also playing. So we've been playing together a bit. See, there's just these extra pieces of hair for if you want an extra single strand anywhere. And there's the ponytail. Okay. All different styles. All different kinds. Ponytails at the back. I think we should do two two ponytails. So if I'm going for a cute sweet Lolita kind of look. I think two big fluffy ponytails on either side. Is what, is what I'm imagining anyway. There's also these like front of head ponytails. Don't know what that's about. The lips are cute though, aren't they? Might do them for a more gothic style. Hmm. Curly ponytail. And then we can change the colour individually. So this could be a completely different colour to the rest of the hair if I wanted it to be. I think I'm going to try and make it match. Oh, there. Is that close enough? That seems close enough. And I'll find the exact same one for the other side. We'll find the exact same one. Oh, the little curly ones are so cute though. Big spirals. Is that the right one? Close enough. <laughs> Make it pastel blue. These might all be slightly different shades of blue and pink, but that kind of works. Because that is often what hairstyles are like. There. Adorable. Adorable. Let's start putting bows on.
see we've got bags, we've got gloves, we've got belts and stuff, just extras, chains, hats, little hat, big hat, a mini hat. That was a trend for a while, wasn't it? In Lolita fashion. And now people either love them or hate them. Big witch hat. Santa beard. <laughs> the little crowns are quite cute. There's also glasses and necklaces. That's back to hair. I think I might just put some bows and ribbons up on his head. If you do another goth one, the witch hat might be good. Yes. Yeah, the witch hat would be good for a goth Lolita. We might do that one next. these pumpkins. I can just have a pumpkin on my head if I want. <laughs> or a big skull. There's a whole bunch of Christmas stuff because there was a Christmas themed expansion, I guess. I think I'm going to use this bow and try and move it round to the front. But like, on top. You know, like a head bow. Can I do that? Upper arm, forearm, upper arm, forearm, waist, leg, lower leg, waist, leg, leg. Head! There we go. Passable. It's passable from the front, isn't it? <laughs> Should I try and be more precise with it? Oh, oh, there we go. Front and center. It's not very convincing from the back, but we can just pretend that it's on a hairband. Oh, the precision, the precision. Let's just see what's happening. So, obviously it's not Sweet Lolita colors yet, but this one has all sorts of patterns and stuff because for some reason some items can be patterned and some items can only be flat colours. I don't know how they choose which is which, but this one has all the patterns. So we could put a print on this outfit, like with flowers or a lace pattern. Let's find something really cutesy. The blue stripes is quite cute. The metallics are my favourite, but they're not very appropriate for this outfit. But the glow in the dark effects are pretty great. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I really like that pattern for a gothic look. I might. I might use that one when we do a gothic one next. 
Maybe it's a flat color it is that we have to do here. Or I'll use the blue stripes and then I'll put pink underneath. Is that cute? We'll find out. And then instead of this orange gemstone, we'll have a bright pink one. What do we think? Is that so far so cute? I think I'll come back to the rest of the accessories after choosing the main outfit. That way we'll know what we're working with. Clothing. This is where I'm worried. This is where I think it might fall apart. But let's see. Should I have checked beforehand if there was going to be Lolita appropriate outfits? Yes. Did I? No. See, none of these options. <laughs> ah. Well, that works. Thank you, Vanilla Exorcist. I think he's cute too. See, I think the female character options might have dresses and skirts and stuff. Not really, just a little bit. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can fake it somehow. Which of these? I'll stick with the one that we're already wearing because the tails, the tails kind of work. I'll just change the colors to not be heinous. The one with the waistcoat might work for a vaguely OG look. I could try that as well another time. Are the patterns unlocked for this piece of clothing or is it just lock colours? Ah, the patterns are here. See, I wanted it to match the, the bow but I'm not sure that's actually, <laughs> I'm just not sure about that. But hey, we've come this far, I'm going to give it my best shot. Oh, that's the legs, whoops. I think the conclusion here is going to be no, you can't make a Lolita fashion character in Code Vein, but we're going to we're going to give it our best shot. The tails kind of do work. They work best out of all the options that we had. Should I just make these all the same shade of pink? Probably, right? It's probably unrealistic since that never actually happens in Lolita, does it? <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to go back and change the pink in the hair to be the same pink that's in the outfit, just because I might as well. 
Oh, I can. It's not unlocked. Rats. Oh, well. You would marry them? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm going to take off a bunch of the extra accessories. And we can put on just other different, better ones. I say better. Cuter ones. I'd like him. Hello, welcome. You could try to make a skirt out of accessories. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. I do need to create a, some sort of simulation of a blouse as well. But we do have all of these extra floaty bits, so... We'll try. There's also these rose eye patches, those are cool. But I think we need all of the accessory spots now <laughs> to create... Try and create a skirt. Is this going to be possible? Probably not. The worst perpetrator in Lolita is Sax. That's true. They never have the same blue. I've heard the same about shades of lavender and purple. Okay. Let's make an attempt. stripes oh we're in it now how many of these am I going to have to put on to have it read as a skirt <laughs> probably so many one bigger too. This is so cursed. What have I done? If there's anyone watching that's new to Lolita fashion, this ain't it. This is not it. <laughs> I wonder if the other patterns would be better on a large scale like that. Like the flowers is nice, but it's a bit classical Lolita, isn't it? It's certainly a look. <laughs> it's not a good look, but it's a look. Is this the worst thing I've ever created? No, definitely not. 
I'm going to make it a little shorter so that it's more knee length, <laughs> as if it matters. Oh, they can stick out more though. Skirt could be better in the pink. Yeah, you might be right. We can try it. There's no harm in trying it. Okay, what if we make all the skirt parts pink and then also the trousers underneath it pink? that is that a horrible idea does it matter it's not going to be worse is it i think i've had nightmares about having to go to meet up stress like this <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> Considering we started from nothing, it's not as bad as it could have been. Is what I'm telling myself. I'm going to try and create the illusion of a blouse being there. That's a bit of Sailor Moon, isn't it? Apologise to Mana right now. <laughs> No. Can this bow be striped? Yes, it can. Ah, but then it blends in, so we'll make it pink. Hello. I am all right. Kind of. I'm suffering because of my own creation, but other than that, I'm okay. Should we do a, a choker or a necklace of some kind? The wings are cool though. Key shaped necklace. Oh, team, it's not going well. Maybe a bag instead. Nah, nah. Gloves. Fluffy choker's kind of cute, but it doesn't really go with the rest of our creation. <laughs> There's also these little wings, which are really cute. But we don't have a lot of accessory space left because I used those ponytail ones. <gasps> a big heart shape. Enable super chat. I 
we'll figure out how to do that and then I might just. Thank you. More than three hail manas are needed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to be here all day doing my hail manas. Someone get this man a petticoat. I tried. I tried. Oh wait, where are we going to put this big random heart? It's starting to look a bit like a fan character from... What was that anime with the magical boys? Do you know the one I mean? Do you know the one? I don't remember anything else about it than that. Big heart on the back. Why not? I'm glad you're having fun. That is the important part. Oh wait, are these chokers with items on them? Oh, they don't have, they're not chokers, they're just floating stars and stuff. Hmm. Oh look, late to school. What about a big ribbon? If I change the colours from the Christmas colours, can I pass that off as an accessory? Probably not, right? A high School Earth Defence Club. That's what it was. Yeah, the one with the magical boys. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Should I just put another bow on the neck? Is that too excessive? Does it matter? There, now it's angelic pretty does OG. That's a nicer pink, isn't it? Oh, thank you. That's nice of you to say. At least I'm looking better than this monstrosity I've created. Do I dare go back through and change all the pinks to that better pink? Oh, the bows are floating. Whoops. Right, how do I put them... How do I fix that? Can I fix that? I don't think I can fix that. I think they're just going to be floating there. thing is I can turn them sideways as well so you really do have complete freedom to do whatever you want and this is what I did with the power shame on me oh you think the blue throws it off see I liked it because I thought it contrasted a bit Is it going too far to change all of the pinks to that better pink? I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> because we're here now. And you can give me your thoughts on what we should add next. Or if we should just ditch this and move on to a gothic one. LB and RB to make it closer to you. Oh, okay, okay, I'll try that. Let's see.
Oh. <gasps> yes. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, that's neater. What we got, what we got? I wonder if I can make the pony skulls bigger. I can. Giant pony skulls? It's an option, I'm gonna take it. Oh. Somehow it looks a little bit better balanced with the giant ponytails. Not saying it's good, but it's better. The six Willy Wonka kids. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. Just turned up to the factory already looking like this and just got turned away. Terrible accident in the candy cane factory. Can't believe we're actually having to go and fight with the shades of pink to get them to match. <laughs> ah, I like it. It's like it knows. It knows. Okay. The masks are never going to match, so we'll just ignore that. How would you name the brand of this cord? I... Uh... I'm not sure. Because it's not angelic and it ain't pretty. I'm gonna try and make the hair match the stripes. Kind of. Candy cane accident. <laughs> was already said. Put in your votes for a candy cane accident. Can you adjust the textures? You can. There's um, metallic options, but you can otherwise. There are some like lace textures and stuff, but they don't really change the texture of the fabric, it's just a pattern. <laughs> this does have a very meta vibe to it, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't wear the top part. The blue striped tail coat is... It works. It works. Should we call this done? Do we dare? Mm. 
my magic twinkle sugar melty donut disaster. It is a melty donut disaster. That much might be what it's called now. Melty donut disaster. I'm gonna real quick just screen cap that. <laughs> I might update the thumbnail of this stream to include our, our monster here. Get a nice close up of his makeup as well. If you listen closely, you can hear him screaming. Melty candy cane acid trip. That works. That works too. think I'm going to consider this one done at least and we do have time we can make a more gothic one do I dare save it these appearance settings have been saved can you adjust the body proportions no, you can't. Um, once you've chosen your face and your gender and body type, you can't change that. But you can change, you can change the clothes and accessories and everything. But changing to a different body would be like a whole new character. Well, here he goes. Yeah, he is also a dude. Oh, Davis has got his tunes on. Or have I just left it on since last time? Hey dude, what do you think of my outfit? Tactically not mentioning it. Wise. I wonder what he looks like fighting with this. Oh, I forgot I was wearing this armor. Should we change the armor to something more on brand? <laughs> that doesn't work at all. The ponytail's stuck through. <laughs> oh dear. So the armor doesn't really work with it, but that's okay. Let's try something else. Something else entirely. It's like if you described Fairy K to an alien. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I can't help but feel like if I used one of those hairstyles, I would have more spaces for accessories. You know? It's 
since I don't need the ponytail anymore, I can put other accessories on instead. Not that more accessories is going to help, but no, I think I'm going to call that a good one. <laughs> call that a good one. There was a long one with bangs that would be very old school. I think there is actually, yeah, long hair with straight across bangs. I might keep that one for the gothic Lolita look, which I'm going to go straight into now, since we're all here anyway. I'll remove the excess of the extra accessories so that we're kind of, we can see what we're doing. Should I leave all the skirt parts on? Yeah, why not? That, since that's our best <laughs> approximation. Are you feeling more comfortable streaming? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I've done a couple this week, so I've decided just to do it I guess. I still get really nervous before I start but that's pretty normal. Oh this outfit already comes with a skirt bit. The thing is taking away those tails Alright, let's try something more gothic, classic, more sort of old school look. <laughs> Certainly you like it and don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, I, I get that. I feel like it's cute, but in the way that um, a child's first attempt at a Lolita outfit is sweet because they tried but that's kind of all it's got going for it <laughs> i think red and black for this one or that old school kind of look. I'll change the eyes to be the same colour this time. And a natural colour perhaps just to mix it up. That's not the same colour. That's the same colour. Tell you what, it's not easy wearing a wig and a headset at the same time. Go for a more old school look this time. You can't even see the eyebrows. 
makeup I will bake kind of a natural color. I said while scrolling through dark pink. You know, back in the day when people were still kind of weird about unnatural colors or bright colors. And again, even though this is the makeup selection screen, um, for some reason, actual makeup is in the face paint section. So we'll do, we'll get to that. Scars and other. Now we had the sweet lilies that have freckles. What should we do this time? Eye scar, face scar, burn marks. Little beauty mark. Maybe. Maybe just nothing for now. Just nothing for now. See, this is the... What I mean about the makeup. Oh, that is a beauty mark. Oh, I forgot I did that. <laughs> so, makeup. I'll find stronger lipstick. And make it dark red. Okay. I'll do accessories after the main clothing. I don't want to just use the tailcoat one again, but it is the only one that has even something close to a skirt. I'll use the waistcoat one. I know a lot of uh, classic and gothic ladies sometimes wear a shirt and waistcoat as a top with a skirt. I used to do that a lot. I still do that sometimes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Should we go with a classic white blouse? See, this is the pattern I liked for gothic stuff. It's sort of blood splattered a little bit. That pattern actually looks really cool on the tail coat. I'll show you how I mean. See? I like that. Should we just use the tail coat again? <laughs> Is that... Does that make any sense? <laughs> New Violet Fane really is looking good. Yeah, that is kind of like their haunted... Is it the Haunted Manor one? Oh, Violet Fane are great, but that does look a lot like their... I've forgotten the name of it. It's the Haunted House one, though. That's a look. So are these. These patterns, the marbled ones. And the lace. The lace pattern. See, if they gave us a proper uh, dress type, just a dress, then it would be pretty. It would be pretty good in the lace pattern and the marble pattern. 
Ah, uh, the bloodstained one's your favorite. That doesn't surprise me. It would suit you. Look at the glitter. Glitter. I'm gonna make the bottoms plain black. Hang on, though, that's the boots, and I think if we've got the blood splatter pattern, I want to make the boots red. Do you think? This chat is a nice place. I'm glad, I'm glad you're having a good time. It's nice to be here chatting to y'all. See, I should have left the bits I'd made into a skirt on there but I didn't and now we're all gonna have to suffer while I put them back on <laughs> on the waist I'm getting used to the way things move as well. I'm trying to do this with a controller, which is a little bit easier than doing it with the um with the keyboard, but only only a little bit easier. I like that pattern actually, the blue and green pattern. But we're going to make it all this blood splatter color. waist alternate universe where instead of moté blue have moté red that would be so good because i don't really wear blue that much and i like the few red pieces that moté have done Moté purple would be good too. Also, hi, Kimbucha. Thank you for joining us. You're just in time to see me create our second monstrosity of the day. It's uh, the answer to the question, can you make Lolita fashion in Code Vein? So far is no, just no, <laughs> but we are trying. On the waist, create kind. Oh, <laughs> what is it? What is that? <laughs> Just you know, wearing a random piece of fabric. It's a lure, yeah. <laughs> right. Time to add in bows. I'm gonna try using the hat this time. As sacrilegious as tiny hats are. I might not use a tiny hat. I might just use the... It looks weird though, like that, doesn't it? Like, it's just perched up on there. Motier beige would be the worst timeline. <laughs> See, that's not bad. Either that or my whole sense of what is terrible is broken because we've been at this. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, now, someone suggested earlier that we use the witch hat for a gothic look. And that is quite a good idea, but I don't think the hairstyle's big enough to offset that right now. Can I make this patterned? Why am I getting GLB cage skirt spread? Honestly, I thought there might be a cage skirt option in the accessories of this game, and that would have been good, but there, there isn't. There isn't, so... I did want to put on a cage skirt, though. The witch hat looks good in that pattern, though. Like, so far... We've created another monster. I'm not sure about the hat. I just think the hair isn't big enough to support it. This print is called Haunted Lace Cathedral Graveyard Vampire Nightmare. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I would definitely wear a print called that. Excuse me leaning off to the side, I'm getting a beverage. <laughs> Don't mind me. On all levels except physical, I am Lolita. On all levels except physical, I am whatever this is. <laughs> See, the top hat as well kind of looks weirdly perched, like it's too high up. I suppose the point is that you can adjust it. It's not beer. It is not. It is off-brand energy drink. Actually, it isn't, but I'm not advertising any brands, so... Should I try and make this hat work? I'm going to try my best. If this hat doesn't work out, then yes, I'll try a crown. You can move and resize them, but it's just odd. <laughs> Face hat. Neck hat. Tilt it forward like that. That kind of works. I don't hate it. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I can also actually make it bigger into like a full size hat. Like it could be. Here now. That's no bad. It clips through her hair a bit, but you know, whatever. As long as we don't look at the hair clipping through on the back, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's do the rose eye patch as well, just for fun. <laughs> See, I don't want to make everything too matchy matchy and have it all be the same pattern, but it's also. It just looks nice to have everything be kind of similar. Or at least the same enough.
Like that kind of works, but I think I think the main part of the rose should be red. Like I actually see this being a thing. I I mean it's not as bad as it could be, is it? We haven't put any excessive bows on yet. But I think we should do that. Loki Mona? I don't know who Mona is. Sorry. Can I put the bow on the back? The gothic one does work better. Like it's still not, it's still definitely not Lolita but it is, it is a better outfit than the sweet one tried to be. That bow's not big enough, is it? We need a bigger bow. That's more like it. High up on the back, like there? Or below the, on the tails. High up. Or on the tails. A random character from an old anime. Well, if you if you remember at all, let us know because I'd like to look it up. Melty Donut Disaster versus Haunted Lace Nightmare. <laughs> That's going to be what I change this stream name to once it's done. Is that the same red as the rose on the front? That's close enough if it is. No matter who wins, we lose. The whole... Yeah, <laughs> no matter who wins, everyone who had to see it loses. Next, put that in there. There we go. A little bow. I should put another one up on the collar area to try and make it look like there's clothing in there. Should I, um, should I just do another bow like last time or should we try something more adventurous? Hey, thanks for joining us, Jeff. You can't start streaming while I'm asleep. Well, I did, so fight me about it. I could give her a choker though because it goes better with the gothic look than the sweet one would have. Let's see. Let's change it up. Oh my god, I'm gonna move it all around. Head. Eh, it's okay. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm iffy on the choker. I'm iffy on the choker. The fluffy collar is kind of nice, but nothing else on the outfit is fluffy or wintry, so I don't know. We might just have to put another bowl on the front. Would it be alright to make a similar video with Soul Calibur? Yeah, of course! That sounds great. Let me know when you're doing it as well and I'll come watch. I think it would be really funny to just do this in various games, honestly. <laughs> Should I put a black bow on the front or red? The red with a black underlayer. 
I heard the correct answer as I was saying it out loud. Does Soul Calibur have more Lolitaable options? I actually haven't played Soul Calibur ever, I don't think. I haven't played that many different types of games, honestly. I'm usually stick to the ones I like. Can you Lolita would be a good series, maybe? Yeah, it might. Well, if you make a video similar to this on Soul Calibur, we can put them in a little playlist together. And then people who want to burn their eyes watching us fail to make Lolita characters, then they've got it all in one place. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make the central gem on that bowl green to kind of mimic the flowers, the flowers, the leaves on the rose. So it's red with green. There, that's cute. And we've got one more accessory spot, one more. So should we do a coffin shaped handbag? I think we'll do a coffin shaped handbag. It's even already in the same pattern. <laughs> I'll just make all the details on it black. mask even kind of works because they're all black and reds. The mask did not work at all with this sweet Lolita outfit. Okay, I think, I think that's as close as we're gonna get. Let's just, I'm gonna real quick Save this. Let's see how it looks actually in the game. Better than the other one, for sure, better than the other one. It's still not great, but hey, at least it's the right kind of colour palette for this game. This one might even look okay with my the armour thing I had on. Let's have a look. Hey now, that's okay, isn't it? I like the the festive ones are the Christmas pack, but they're just metallic red, which is kind of cool. See, even that's not as bad as the last one was. The hat is clipping through, but. It's not the worst. Let's. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. And isn't that all you can ask for, really? Am I getting stared at? I assume Tal is a cat, because otherwise, you know. <laughs> I 
there's some more of the accessories and stuff I would like to play around with, but I don't have any more ideas for a whole character outfit. Hang on, there's a camera mode in this, isn't there? See, I was going to take a screenshot like an idiot. But you can just do this and then Make it dramatic. Blur the background. You can even do like <laughs> effects and stuff. Oh, that's an exciting filter. Yes, Tao is a cat. I'm glad. I'm glad. There we go. There's our approximation of Lolita fashion in code vein. <laughs> and for anyone who missed the first one, I'll just remind you all of what that looked like. Sweet Lolita, gothic Lolita. It could be a lot worse. It could have gone worse. This is our attempt at sweet. Oh, and that's the goth. And this is my normal character. They're dating. <laughs> oh, they might as well be. Right. I am gonna save this now. Sweet Police in that environment is wonderfully discordant. It was. It was. It did not look right at all. We've done two entire Lolita approximations. <laughs> one sweet, one gothic. Um, neither of them really worked like I had imagined, but, well, they worked kind of like I had imagined, but neither of them worked as well as I thought they might have. But hey, had fun doing it, didn't we? <laughs> the music is appropriate. It's starting to get in my brain a little bit. <laughs> So thank you all for being here. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun with this. I might do more similar stuff another time or stream other games. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I haven't really got a plan. We're just winging it. 
we're just winging it. So let me know if you like this sort of thing and let me know if you'd like to see me stream other games. I do have a Twitch account but I haven't used it really for anything and I think if I was going to stream other games that were that couldn't be like Lolita Fashion or anything related I might do it on Twitch instead just to kind of keep everything not separate but I don't I don't know I'm sure you know what I mean though I'm glad you like the fashion advice my main piece of fashion advice is don't try to make a skirt out of several scarves like I did in that character customizer. Keep it neat. Yes, that's what I mean. Just so that the people who follow this channel specifically for Lolita and OG fashion stuff don't kind of get put off because I'm suddenly doing gaming content, you know? Oh, you, you just arrived. Well, welcome, welcome in and sorry, I'm just finishing. The scarf skirt had some charm, but pff, it needed some work, didn't it? <laughs> You'd like to keep them separated. Yes. So, yeah, I think that's, that's everything. We're done here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I make new videos every weekend. <laughs>